We are back here on Carolina Women. Kathy Ulmer has joined us from Ulmer's Pharmacy, and we're talking about all kinds of things. We were yeah. going to talk about compounding today, but we're sort of over that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not over it. I need I to do it every day. It's really <laughs> super important, and it's the, it's the yes. thing that you do most is, really yeah. Yeah. set you mm -hmm. apart. Yes. But in, in addition, we were talking about viruses, yes. mm -hmm. and we all had some interesting questions. You've questions. got five kids. Yeah. You've got kids. I've got grandkids. Yeah. And, um, We've been seeing a lot of the RSV yes. in little people, mm -hmm. but are you seeing kind of residual virus uh, implications with people who've had COVID? Like I hear a lot of um, heart arrhythmias. Yeah. I'm hearing mm -hmm. a lot of pulmonary stuff. Is that something? So, I mean, uh, it's a really complicated question. Like what is the repercussions of COVID? I mean, right. those are things that we're starting to learn and we're starting to learn like why things are happening. But in general, we were talking earlier about viruses. Yes. So like there's things like chicken pox that you get when you're a kid and then it lays latent. And then when you become an it's over 65 adult, okay. it sometimes represents a shingle. So viruses can lay latent in your body and represent in a different way as you get older. So COVID, what is it doing? What is that virus doing? Is it still there? Got or it. Is it causing like these blood clots or people that have that chronic cough yep. that they just can't get rid of. Let me ask you, going back to the shingles real quickly. So when I, at 69, get a shingles vaccination, am I actually getting a chicken pox vaccine? No, you're actually vaccine. getting a shingles. It represents itself. So it uh, kind of uh, changes its- Morphs. It morphs, right. that's a great word. Um, so mm. you're getting a different vaccine than you got when with the chicken pox, or if those who did get the chicken pox vaccine. Well, and you were talking about, can't you just do antibiotics or things like that? Right, so the difference is, is like, so if it's a bacterial infection, we treat with antibiotics. If it's viral, we have to have an antiviral. There are way fewer antivirals out right. there than antibiotics. And okay. actually, we're not even coming up with any new antibiotics, so we're kind of, mm, we're running oh. we're running low on new ideas. Right. Uh, so. That's why it was hard to treat COVID like the flu, because usually you don't, you might get Tamiflu, okay. but mostly they're just like rest, you know, Got it. fluids. Can I bring up compounding then? I guess I hear about compounding all the time, mm -hmm. but in, just in talking about treatment options, what is compounding? So with compounding, um, it would be like if your kid goes and they have strep. Okay and they can't Look swallow. At like, mm, I'm like, right? this yeah. I'm very fascinated. Right? So <laughs> they can't swallow. Strep is it's hard to swallow. And maybe you're older oh, yeah. and you have strep and you're like, I can't swallow the pill. Right. Got it. I can make it into a liquid. Oh. You know, things that aren't available as liquid for kids are dosages. Like, so we had this little neonate baby. Okay. And we had to make everything in these little tiny, mm. tiny doses. Those aren't available on the market. So what do we do? Well, when they release them out of the hospital, they send us the prescriptions and we can take the powder or maybe the tablets and crush them and make them in these little teeny tiny dosages so that it's more appropriate for, for them. What so are some ways you would create it? What would you do? You've got the little... Well, I mean, so as a, far, as a compounding pharmacy, pharmacy we have access to the powders so okay. you know when you get a tablet it's got the powder like the drug and yep. it's got all these extra fillers in it so we are able to just get the powder and make it into whatever if we need to make it into a capsule we'll add our own fillers to make okay. a capsule if we make a liquid we think it's like suspensions can you flavor it so and we can flavor it like I mean that's the flavors okay. are, you know. And no wonder you don't get why? a break yeah. at work. Yeah. We had this, yeah. exactly. You're like a magician back there. I mean, yeah. That's what I love. Of like, I, yeah. just, I get to spend all my time, kind of a cool. lot of times, researching it. What can we make it in? What is it stable and you're it in? Customizing it for the person. Exactly. No, you have to ask her about the animals because you compound for animals. Yes, we right? do. No, right. listen to this. Go ahead. Uh -huh. With your with your cats and right, right. Me. So like we can make treats, we can make liquids, we can make capsules. So anything that you know your animals need, again, like if they don't want to take a tablet, we right. can make it into a liquid. And that's was coming up with a yeah. funny joke the other day because somebody was like in the pharmacy and they didn't know what we did and they were uh -huh. like, oh, it smells like beef in here. And I was like, sorry, we use beef flavor. And they'd like, who wants beef flavor? <laughs> and I was like, animals. Animals, <laughs> you know? Like somebody out there really wants their protein, you know? <laughs> I made my drink beef exactly. flavored, so. But um, you said cats are picking. You cats are super picky. You so we so actually make topicals that you can rub into their Let's ears. Oh, yeah. And they absorb it so there. Nice. So, you know, as long as your cat's happy with you sitting on your lap and rubbing their ears, then you don't have to worry about holding its head oh, and yeah. squirting liquid down. Oh, yeah, I wrestled with my dog oh. to try to get, you know. They're so picky. So. Well, then they need it, Yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the hard part is Especially that they need cats. it and you can't provide it because they don't, don't tolerate it or reject it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they do. Yeah. <laughs> 
As always, yes. I can't believe we're out of time. It's now. always super fun when we talk, and we can go all over the mall. Yeah, we went from viruses to <laughs> compounding, just like that. <laughs> but it sort of all works together, yes, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. The it's bottom line is, go see Kathy Ulmer at Ulmer's Pharmacy. She is pretty amazing. I, I definitely drank the Kool-Aid with you. I, I've learned a lot. I appreciate it. Stay with us. There's more to come here in Carolina Women.